What's going on everyone? It's Dan here. Welcome to the game unboxing for October 30th. Holy crap. Probably one of the biggest unboxings and release days of the entire year so far, if not for the rest of the year, in terms of titles and, well, content, so to speak. Uh, we have three games, plus a DLC. Now, before I get into these games, I would like to briefly explain why there's no uh, LEGO Lord of the Rings present, because that was originally supposed to be released on October 30th as well. Well, it got delayed till November 13th, so the same day as Call of Duty Black Ops 2. I'm actually so thankful for that, because one more game would have been hell to complete in the time span that I have, so it's probably good for the best. Now, also not present, but also coming out today, is the Nightmare in North Point DLC, I believe it's called, for, a, uh, for Sleeping Dogs. It's actually the first story mission DLC uh, that they've actually had besides packs and things. Sorry, just taking a sip of my uh, coffee here. Anyway, um, so that'll be done as well. I wanted to point that out there. Obviously, I can't show you guys anything. But we have three games that I am dying to play. Dying to play these games. Um, we have Assassin's Creed 3. We have WWE 13, and we have Need for Speed Most Wanted. Now, I'm probably going to start with the games that I probably... I don't know, we'll, we'll sh I'll just start with Most Wanted, okay? This was basically going to be a re-release, essentially. You know, when you really think about it. And this isn't just the regular edition, this is the limited edition. Everyone can get it. And the big thing here is it's better with Kinect sensor. I'm gonna. I'm wondering what that's going to include with the Kinect, you know what I mean? So Need for Speed Most Wanted... Um, okay, so this first code right here, this is my pre-order bonus, this gives me, let me just make sure I can read that first, uh, exclusive speed pack featuring multiplayer access to the Caterham Superlight R500, in case you don't know what that is, if you want to focus anytime, it'll be wonderful, thank you, there you go, that's that, uh, and also this, I'm not going to show you the code though, this is just my online pass, so this is my online pass right here. Uh, oh, and limited edition unlocks, which gives you the limited edition, okay, uh, Maserati Gran Turismo MC Stradale, Stradale, I can't remember how you say that, and the Porsche 911 Carrera S, bounce car, and the online pass as well. So this gives you two vehicles. I knew all about that one, nothing too crazy. And no, there's, there's no instruction book, you just have this thing, you know, the warnings and labels and follow us on Twitter and lick a dick and conquer shit at the same time. <laughs> And there's just your game disc, pretty generic. So this one is not, over, oops, sorry about that, isn't overly crazy in terms of uh, what kind of content you get, but I'm so glad that they brought back the police chase aspect to the Need for Speed. Although one of the horrible things that I, I found out about this game, or heard, at least heard, I don't know if it's true or not, is the fact that there is little to no customization on your vehicles for that. And that was one of the biggest things for Need for Speed. You know, paint jobs, spoilers, door styles, you know, uh, whether or not you could have neon under the chassis, that sort of thing. So I'm, a I'm quite disappointed about that. That's something huge that I really like to, you know, that was a huge part of the Need for Speed games. Okay, next title. WWE 13. For those of you who don't know, I'm actually a fan of WWE. Even though... Okay, I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody, but even though it is the way it is, let's just say that. I do enjoy the storylines, and I do enjoy some of the hilarity of it. Uh, sometimes the fierceness, you know what I mean. So anyway, WWE 13. You know what was kind of dumb? Uh, there was supposed to be a contest, a code they gave you for this game. And what it would do, it was ent enter you in a draw for various prizes, but one of the mainer, one of the, mainer, one of the larger prizes was... Um, uh, like WWE 13 Austin 316 edition, so it'd be the Stone Cold edition of this game, and you'd win it. But they gave me the code. They wanted to give me the code the day before it expired, and the day before it expired, I was at work and I had no means to write the code down. I was busy, so he's like, "Oh, you can come in next time." And I'm like, "Oh my God, right?" So yeah, because this is all I'm doing is playing games all day. I have other crap to do. But anyway, WWE 13. I'm excited for this one, and I'll explain why. Oh, let me see if it, it should say on the back. Live the revolution. There it is right there. The the new game mode, WWE Attitude Era. That is awesome. All the superstar storyline characters from that era. Now, okay, people. I'm 21 years old, okay? I grew up in the 90s. Um, I've been wa I watched wrestling religiously. I remember from like 1996 
And I would watch it briefly with my dad from like 93, 94, but watch it religiously like 96 to 2004. That's the Attitude Era, and that's when the Attitude Era pretty much ended, was in 2004. Um, all my favorite superstars from that era are in the Attitude Era, obviously. The Attitude Era is my favorite era of WWE wrestling. And I don't, like, honest to God, that is, I'm sure, a lot of people's favorite era. Regardless, I still enjoy it, even the current era now, but uh, certain things I don't like, but, well, you know, it's everything, right? But I did want to play this game. I liked WWE 12 last year, and they advanced on this, especially with the, the Attitude Mode, the Attitude Era Mode. I think that's just awesome. So uh, let's put this thing down for two seconds here and show you the bonuses. This gives you CM Punk's uh, Ice Cream Bar t-shirt. I don't know if you guys remember that. When he was, because WWE had an ice cream bar thing going back way back when, uh, where you could buy your favorite superstars in like a form of ice cream bars, and he has his own shirt there. I don't know if you guys remember that. I don't know if it'll focus on it. Yeah, there you go. So I think that's pretty funny. Uh, what else we got here? We also have this is from the pre another pre order bonus you unlock. Mike Tyson is a playable superstar. He was a WWE fan, especially of Stone Cold. Uh, Steve Austin, they incorporated him into the DX thing back in the 90s. I don't know if you guys remember that or if you guys were old enough to remember that. Whatever the case was, he was a big part of the WWE. He's actually a Hall of Famer right now as, you know, not like a main superstar, but like a featured guest kind of thing. And then you have, is this French? Actually, they put the English one on top. I am baffled. Just a minute. Okay, good thing I didn't flip that. There's a... A online pass on the back, so so I figured. So you got your table of contents. Oh, it's very simple. Shows the controls a little bit, but I do remember them. But it'll be a nice refresher. Uh, so I'm not going to show you the back. There's nothing on the back except saying enter the code to use your your game. So that or online features, I say. So that is the um, the uh, what do you want to call it? The the, uh, the well the unboxing for WWE 13. But now, let's move on to the big meat of this unboxing. Yes, I love WWE, and I really want to play that game. However, everyone around the world right now, sorry, taking a sip here, um, is wanting to play this guy, Assassin's Creed 3. The first time where they actually move on, well, not the first time, I mean, first time in a while where they actually drop Ezio. Like, finally, are you guys, like, are you guys with me on this one? I was getting so tired and bored of playing Ezio Auditore, like, every game. Past three games, Assassin's Creed 2, amazing. But then, Brotherhood and Revelations, we're still, Ezio is still very similar, like, give me a break. New character, new era. Like, this is during Civil War, like, 1800s. Is it 1800s? I'm sorry, I don't know my American history all that much. But... I think this is unbelievably cool. This is the limited edition. It's essentially a collector's edition, but it's a limited edition. I got it. I'll show you why. Well, let me, I, I pre-unboxed it. I didn't open it. I just opened the top so we wouldn't be fighting with it because it was kind of a struggle to open that, believe it or not. So anyway, I'm going to see if I can... God, son of a monkey. Ah, let's give you this thing. What the blue balls are in here? Hold on. Okay, this is this stuff. Okay. So in this giant portfolio, or whatever you want to call it, you have your limited edition content. Yes, so you have the Assassin's Creed flag. You gonna give me the flag? Which, I'm, no offense, I'm not gonna be putting this up anywhere. I'm not American, so that'd be kind of dumb. I mean, no offense or anything, but uh, yeah. It smells very interesting in this packaging, but there's an assassin. You know what? I'll open it. I'll open it. And you know what? I'm gonna get a like a bombardment of comments. Can I have it? Can I have it? You're not American. So can I have it? You're not gonna use it. So can I have it, please? I want it. I'll subscribe if you give it to me. I get that all the time. Anyways, this feels like one of those like raincoats. This is a legit American flag, people. This is a like a full size flag. <laughs> oh my god. That's actually kind of unique. Pretty cool. The original, the colonies that they had back then. The, this is like the original Stars and Stripes. But obviously, maybe I will give this away. 
I'm not American, like, and I have no use for an American flag. No offense, people. I'm not dissing you. I'm just saying. Would you? Would you guys want to get a Canadian flag in the mail? Would you wear that proudly? Maybe some of you would, but okay, let's be let's be honest. Not many people would. All right. So another uh, version of the or another edition of this. Here, I'll open this for you. Like these little things, I could have done without. To be 100% honest, I don't really care about these because I'm not going to wear this. <laughs> you have a uh, Assassin's Creed 3 belt buckle. While it is really nice, and thinking about it, I could take my current belt off or put it on my other belt that I have. But it's a really nice belt buckle. It's You can use it. It's legit. I think it looks really nice, but... I doubt I'll wear it. <laughs> I'm more of a designer guy, so I don't know. Now I'm gonna go into the disc. Oh, what the hell? Oh, right. Forgot all about this. This is a really cool piece of um, art. Er, yeah, it's basically a collector's. It's basically an art book. But this is George Washington's journal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. George Washington's journal, and the pages feel like old fashion. You should smell this bad boy. Well, let me just read this. Oh yeah, 1700s, August 15th, 1752. All these old things. God, this thing stinks. Whatever it was printed on. Here's a cool one. Take a look at that picture. Tons of stuff here. Look at these. Look at that art. Oh, whoa, hold on. Oh, this one holds out. Georgie, you had a lot of time on your hands, sir. Look at this. A big fold-out image. With like... Oh, dang it, Billy Jack. Uh, different characters. Impo they could be targets, but look, it looks like a journal. It, like, it feels and looks like a journal. It smells like a journal from that decade. Oh my god. <laughs> so let me just work on getting this case open. I didn't want to open everything too much, you know what I mean? That way it's kind of a surprise. But the way, this is one thing I could say about PlayStation 3 games. They don't wrap the shit out of their games. Like, they don't have this on there. They don't wrap it as tight as the P, as the 360 ones do. Like, why? Are, are 360 games easier to get into? Maybe that's why, I don't know. But, uh, sorry, I'm trying, I'm working on this one here. I might just, skip, I'll keep talking. I'm just gonna try and get this all off here. I didn't go to the midnight launch for this one, guys. It's actually quarter after 11. I was in EB Games for, I think it was 35, 40 minutes, because the line was larger. And normally I'm out in like two. So, just to keep in mind. And uh, they actually told me, they recommended that I go to the midnight launch. I got to sleep, bro. I was so tired. I decided not to go to the midnight launch. I was with my girlfriend that yesterday, and I didn't want to have to go there. And, you know, I was watching the I was watching Hell in a Cell, and I never watched it on Sunday, so I watched it Monday. So, anyways, there we go. I got it open. Awesome. Okay, I'm coming back. Come back. I'm just gonna make sure. I always open them first to make sure there's no code showing, which there were. Oh, gotta flip that one too. Hold on. Okay. Okay, let's put this back in. And put this back in. And yes. Oh, flip that. There we go. Alrighty. Sorry, guys. Okay, here we are. Okay. And this is the signature edition, too. Just to keep in mind. So, this limited edition includes the signature edition. Basically, if you pre order the game, you get a free upgrade to the signature edition. Now. I want to say something real fast about this. Um, hold on, give me some zoom there. Um, Assassin's Creed 3, Need for Speed Most Wanted, WWE 13. Why did I get these games on 360? Okay, let's start with this one. I know, I already know that PS3 has a, uh, an extra uh, bonus content or limited edition content or whatever, exclusive content, that basically gives you a an extra hour and a half or something of single player gameplay. It's an extra mission. Um, here's the thing. I got this for like two reasons. Number one, all my other Assassin's Creed games that I own, 
or on 360. I know that I know everything for 360. Okay, um, it's a, it's a, it's something I have. It's kind of like a collector's feel, right? And number two, um, I also have. Uh, oh no, number two. Even if I wanted it on PS3, I had already pre-ordered the limited edition on 360 way back when. I can't change it because they're limited, right? You can't just go up and change it. So I know there was a limited edition DLC or whatever for PS3 only. I just never got it, so, so I'm sorry, but that's just how it is, okay? I apologize. Anyway, and I'm not going to spend another $60 just to get a PS3 version of the game, so forget that noise. Anyways, let's open this up. Oops, I keep bumping this damn camera. Let's open this up. Okay, you know, let's look at the discs. Um, there's two discs, of course, because it's 360, so they still use DVDs, those bastards. <laughs> um... But you have disc one for single player and disc two for multiplayer. I guess that kind of sorts it a little better, but they've never had to do that yet. This is a new thing. And here I'm going to take all of these little books out and just show them to you. This, I'm not, oh, not going to show it to you, but this is my exclusive content for Signature Edition. Exclusive Sawtooth Sword. And you know what? Here, I'll just cover up the code and show you. Cover up the code. Here we go. There you go. That's what you get. Unlock your exclusive content. And you get the Lost Mayan Ruins. Those things usually give you really good uh, content, like DLC, or, or equipment, I should say. Uh, so it's good to have that. Here's the instruction book right here. It's nothing special. Uh, let's see, controls, very basic. You play, and then in different, that's it. You're done. Okay. And right here, I'm not going to show you the opening code, but I'll show you the innards. I won't show you the front, because that's my multiplayer access code. So I'm not going to show you, because it's basically my online pass. Different characters redeem you, your play passport to get this and that. And XP boost, etc, etc. I already have my Uplay passport. But, whatever. You know what's annoying? I made a Uplay account, uh, back whatever, and yet I didn't get the credit for Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, or the original Assassin's Creed, even though they were on there currently. I don't remember. But that's that. Now, we're not done yet, people. I'm going to zoom back out a smidge. Is this smidge? Ah. Duh. There we go. Okay. I'm going to put this... I'm probably just going to throw that out. Put this game off to the side. Now, let's go into the meat. The real meat. Hold on. Quick step again. This is a really long game unboxing. I don't even know how long it is because this camera doesn't display how long you've been recording for some reason. Anyway. The main focus... Of this edition. Now, I'm gonna take this bad boy out. This is the reason I got this. Wow. Right, let's put that on the floor. Alright, so a really, really nice statue of, um, what's his name? God, I can't even remember his name. It's kind of bad. And, uh, hold on. You kind of have to, oh dear, you have to assemble it. Hold on. Oh crap. Hold on, I don't want to break this. Let's just take this tape off here. I want to say Cody, but I think that's wrong. Come on! Okay, I got one half open. Sorry, we're working on it, we're working on it, y'all, we're working on it. See, these collector's editions are kind of for me. Like, I mean, like nice, like, statues or figures or whatever you want to say. Okay, we're free. Okay, easy there, Cody. I think that's it. I swear to God, that's his name. Alright, Cody, I believe. Boom. Now, hold on. He's forgetting something. Come on, you douche, Bigelow. Okay, there's that. Now let, let me have this flag. Thank you. Battery's not included. Age is five and up. Good thing I'm of the age group. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't even say that. But I'm just assuming that you have to be a certain age to use this. Hell, it's funny when like younger people get upset when they turn them away, when they try to buy an M-rated game. You know what I mean? I think that's mad funny. Because you're not even eight, you're not 17. You're not allowed. I wasn't allowed to play these M-rated games until at least 16 or 15 or something like that. All right, C man, where does your flag go? I think does he hold it? No, he doesn't hold it. Where does it go? Where does it go? <laughs> I I think it's like this or something. Are you guys are you guys seeing this failure? 
trying to assemble this thing. There's no instructions on where to put it. Oh, I see. Here we go. That's what we do. I think. Is that right? That looks right. Hold on. Let me just... Is it back or forward? Am I... Oh, am I... oh, it's back. That's what it is. Get the fuck in there. Oh, my God. That doesn't seem right. What the hell, man? Does this seem... Let me look at this picture. Hold <laughs> on. Let me look at this picture. Is there... There's no picture. Oh, my crap. I can't remember how it goes. It goes back, doesn't it? But not like that. It's not just a American flag just smack dab on there, is it? Unless that's how it is. In which case, screw you. I want my American flag to fly. Because it, like, it showed him... I don't know if that's correct. I may have to look it up. That l doesn't look very right. Like, it's, it's the angle. I think you can put it however you want. Maybe that's, maybe that's how it goes. Because that looks pretty good. I'll look it up, but... Okay, so, that is it. Ass Assassin's Creed. Need for Speed Most Wanted. WWE 13. Very wide array of games and content that will be coming your guys' way in the next week, few weeks here. So stay, stay tuned for all these games. I'm going to start with Assassin's Creed. I'm going to get you some content. Like, I'm going to play it for a bit and then move on and come back. You know what I mean? So I'm going to give you guys at least each game and DLC. So uh, Nightmare in North Point, which is the Halloween special. Uh, and basically give you a bit, a few parts of each game. And then go back to one and focus in a little bit more on them. So that's how it's going to work. I am itching to play this. I've been doing nothing but recording and setting up for this. Okay. Um, for what? How long was it? I don't know. Like, well, I got back at 10, what? I got out of EB Games at 1040. And I got there at 10. And I got home at about, probably about quarter, 10 to 11. So it's just about 1130. So I'm going to get started. Like, daylight's wasting. So, uh, thanks guys for watching this game unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy the footage to come. I think it's going to be some really great content. So thanks guys for watching. I'll see you in game. Thanks again. Take it easy.